don't want him to have a son ever. I'll tell you that much. But, uh, all right. You guys ready for the next guy? Yeah. This guy, his name can get a job on any, any application. You guys ready for his name? You guys ready? When I say his name, you guys gotta start clapping. Paul Harrington. Holy crap. Hello. Hello. My name is Paul. I know what you're all thinking. What a terrible name. I know, I hate it too. I mean, I don't think names should be syllables. I mean, Paul sounds less like a name and more like the sound you make when you get shot. But I don't know. To make things worse, my full name is Paul James Harrington. Do you know how many times I get asked if I was named after someone from Downton Abbey? I mean, my God, it's terrible. They're just like, Paul James Harrington, is that British? No. <laughs> just very white. <laughs> um, what else? Oh my God. So, I grew up in Boca my whole life, which I get made fun of a lot from my friends. And um, I don't get it. I mean, it's not like we're Deerfield. But... <laughs> I mean, you know, that was a joke. I have a lot of friends from Deerfield. Oh, my poor friends. <laughs> so, the other day I was walking down the sidewalk, and up ahead of me there was just a disheveled looking man just laying in the middle of it. And I went like, oh my god, did I just enter a bad neighborhood? You know, a neighborhood with no Jewish people. <laughs> it, it was fine. Just turned out I entered Delray. <laughs> That's why I was getting drunk from the breeze. Uh, so I went up to him, I kept walking, and he wouldn't move for me. And I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna walk around you in the grass like a socialist, no. So I started tapping my foot to get him up, and eventually, like, he woke up, he looked at me, and I could just see the poverty in his eyes. And he said, please, sir, I don't have a home. And I'm like, oh my God. No one likes a whiner. And I beeline to Starbucks. I just made a frickin' beeline. Frickin'. So I just turned 18. I don't know how to feel about that. But at least now it's legal for me to have sex with 65-year-old women. I mean, now my girlfriend and I can finally be public. I mean, I mean we've had a... I mean, we've been dating for like 10, 12 years. You know, just in secret. That's oppression. That's oppression. Oh God. So anyways. So I'm glad I've made it to this age. And I haven't done like drugs or alcohol or anything. Well, I mean, I guess the only thing I do that could be misconstrued as drugs are those um, bath salts. <laughs> I think everyone would be much happier if we all just did bath salts. I mean, no one would be able to tell that anyone was happy because no one would have a face, but it'd be positive. Thank you. Oh my God. So, don't you find it disconcerting when the only other person in the public restroom with you starts masturbating? <laughs> You don't know what to say first, like, stop masturbating or get out of my stall. Uh, <laughs> Decision-making skills. I wish I had them. Um, so, who likes pop music? I do. I do a lot. When it's good, it's really good. But when it's bad, you have Katy Perry. Um, you know she sucks. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Not after this song. That song's more tragic than the Hindenburg disaster. Oh my god. Who saw her Super Bowl performance? What the hell? 
What a colorful mess that was. In fact, I think that's what the first responders to the Hindenburg disaster said. I mean, just terrible. Oh my god. You know, for a moment I thought it was going to be good when she came out on the giant lion, but then it zoomed up to her and she was in that Cheeto flame dress. I'm just like, you look like Harley Davidson's whore. I mean, just bad. And her vocals suck. I mean, her voice was flatter than the Patriots football. I mean... Um, what a terrible bitch. Anyways, oh my god. So, I was watching the Grammys, and every time it would pan to Ed Sheeran, I thought, did the channel just change to an expose on Chernobyl? I mean... Oh. His face looks like it was beaten in with a shovel. What happened? Poor guy. I mean... I think British people get a pass with that. I mean, I look like the ugly love child of Lord and Stephen King. And I think girls would think I was attractive if I had a British accent. I mean, Harrington is British. Thank you.